This is Wyatt and Corinne. Sidewalk chalk paint. So I was going to take a video um, of how to make it, but then I realized it was kind of difficult to get the texture just right. Um, what you're, what you're going to find on Pinterest and recipes on Google um, are going to vary a lot. I also found that to be true. Some say use baking soda. Some say use um, smashed up old chalk. You could do that. What I did was just simply take food coloring, all different colors. I even tried out Kool-Aid um, just to kind of see what would be better for future use. Um, what Corinne is dipping in right there, that's actually food coloring. The pink and the black are actually food gel, decorated gel, and the two reds on the end are Kool-Aid. Um, so they do have a little various different textures, and I'll show you um, if I can get this out here. And I mixed some colors to make orange, so this seems to be like an okay texture, but what I really like is the food coloring. That texture is good and thick. Um, see this one's food coloring as well, I mixed that up with um, different colors. So I mixed it with flour until it got kind of a paste material and it's really easy just a trial and error um, and it says to use caro syrup as well to kind of give it a thicker feel um, so that you can really also have the colors pop. So these guys are just going to practice drawing some letters. Corinne you just drew a C and that's the beginning of your name isn't it? Why is that the green one? That green looks like Ghostbusters. So this is black pavement, but what would happen, Corinne, could you try it on this pavement? Let's see what would happen if we chose the lighter pavement. Over here, honey. Ooh. Is that the black, Wyatt? Hey, Wyatt, why don't you try maybe the red or the blue on this? I bet that would show up really nicely. Try drawing a W. W for Wyatt. Down, up, down, up. Good. Ooh, Corinne did it too. You could dip it one more time to make your W really blue. Oh, you're mixing the colors. You're going to make a rainbow name? Ooh. You're going to find out really quickly what happens when you mix all of the colors together. If you mix two colors, you'll get a cool one, but if you mix them all, you'll get an icky brown. Yeah, oh, that stopped him from doing that. <laughs> yeah. I want to get an icky brown. Oh, that looks like it could have been a heart. Nice. So if I could do this again, I might even add more um, flour to make it thicker but I do like the colors that came out of it and if you didn't you could always add some more food coloring I only really put maybe three or four drops into each so good luck happy exploring mixing colors problem solving <laughs> and say goodbye everybody